Hi, this video outlines the four attributes to be a great qualitative user researcher, including active listening, being alert, building rapport, and coming prepared. Active listening is fundamental to the interview interaction. This does not mean just listening to the words, but trying to hear the meaning of what the participant is saying and asking relevant questions to follow up on their responses. Asking relevant questions to follow up on what the participant has already said means that the researcher is listening actively. Although being a researcher can seem like a passive role, the active listening is the key part of interviewing, and it is where the researcher's attention and energies will be directed during the interview. Good listening helps the researcher to be alert to what has already been said, but has not been talked about in enough detail. One response may trigger four to five follow-up questions that the researcher wants to explore. You'll want to make a mental note to follow up on those topics that have not been explored. The researcher will also need to be alert to what has not been said in the interview. Following up on an instinct, perhaps the way the participant has talked from nonverbal communication, such as a glance or a hesitation, or you haven't heard something during this interview that you've heard during your other interview, and you think you might not have heard the full story. It's easy during the interview to think about themes that your design team has already mentioned before interviewing participants, but this can mean the researcher is not listening properly to the participants' responses. And that can lead to questions that spring from the researcher's interpretation of the responses, rather than questions that seek to understand the participants' interpretation of the questions. Listening well is important to establish building rapport with your participant. You can build rapport by listening and responding with relevant questions to show your interest in what the participant is saying and a real desire to understand their perspective. You can support this by making eye contact, a little smile, a nod that you're listening, but make sure not to express any approval or disapproval with your nonverbal cues. Most of all, asking relevant questions is an important way to show respect to the participant and to encourage the participant to continue sharing on their account. It greatly helps if the researcher has an inquiring mind and is curious to know more about what they have been told from the participant. Establishing good rapport comes from displaying confidence in what you're doing. Trust is strengthened when you appear to be comfortable in the interview and with what the participant has to say. Participants also respond quite well when you have a sense of tranquility and inner stillness to show that you are comfortable with the participant and with the interview situation. Humor can also have its place. The ability to share a joke to lighten the situation with humor can help facilitate the interview process. The interview is not a forum for you to show your knowledge or credibility. That comes from understanding the research topic and asking questions that are relevant to the participant. Efficiency and careful preparation are also essential. This means fully understanding the research objective and the guide with all of your topic questions. Although good interviewing also means expecting the unexpected, it is helpful to think through the possible issues that might arise during the interview and to think about how you might respond if those issues arise. Following those four principles will help your interviews go smoothly and will help you gain richer insights from your conversations.